Hey there nation, welcome to the show where we help you to play miniatures wargaming on a budget. It is I, Commander Chiefskate, and we are back with another edition of Meet the Kill Teams. This is our limited series of videos on our channel where we're showing you exactly what each of the kill teams are making up our Kill Team Chronicles campaign. We talk about the mission, the squad quirks, as well as the background of each of the kill teams. We talk about exactly what their demeanors are like, what kind of their specialties are, and pretty much the design concept behind each of these kill teams. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, let's get this video on a roll. And the first video we're going to start off with is our Black Legion, the Ephotic Blade. So we're back with the Ephotic Blade. This is our Black Legion Chaos Space Marines kill team that we have for our campaign. This is one that's being played by my friend Dark Lord Mac. He is playing this particular kill team, the Aphotic Blade. First of all, their mission is Hand of the Gods, which means that this warband must strike quickly and swiftly with overwhelming force, eliminating a key strategic asset before vanishing into the shadows again. Also, their background is Lost and Damned, which means that these warriors have lost themselves entirely to the madness and mutations of chaos, and their squad quirk is Possessed, which means that these warriors have no will of their own, having surrendered their mortal forms to divine possession by demonic beings. So these guys have a very dark and kind of sinister background. First of all, let's talk about the leader real quick. As you can see, each of these Chaos Space Marines, let me see if I can zoom in a little bit better. I'm using a DSLR, you guys, so forgive me if the zooming is kind of uh, blurry on this. If you notice, each of the uh, Chaos Space Marines are in this kill team, they have a different colored shoulder pad. And the reason why is because when we designed this kill team, we decided to kind of paint them up in the same kind of color scheme as you would for, um, uh, what you call it, for uh, Death Watch. That's what we decided to do. Because in the Death Watch, you paint your armor black, and of course, these guys are supposed to be, and you have your other shoulder pad be representative of the of the uh, legion that you originally belong to. And we're doing exactly the same thing with these guys, the Black Legion, representing that these guys have painted armor black and gold, as the lore goes, because they're trying to get rid of their old past. But at the same time, we also have these colorful uh, shoulder pads represent what they, what they came from different legions. So this guy here, this is Asmodai the Mad, or the Sons of Horus, so because of that he's a Sons of Horus legionnaire. And uh, he is the leader, and his... Uh, uh, demeanor is visionary. It's guided by portents and omens that he, only he can see. This warrior seems a superstitious madman or half intelligent, intelligent oracle. So because of that, he is very superstitious and he's also a member of his team. Let me get this zoomed in right here. Alright, so our next guy here, this guy is Thalos the Black of the World Eaters. He is a heavy gunner's armor with a heavy bolter and his demeanor is ultimate veteran. This warrior has been fighting for many lifetimes of mortals and has honed his skills to absolute perfection. So this guy is super deadly. Up next is Savram the Thrice Cursed. He is a Death Guard Legionnaire. He's armed with a melted gun. He's a veteran. And his uh, demeanor is twisted, which means jealous and cunning. This warrior is utterly untrustworthy and will see every slain friend or foe if it is to his benefit. So he's pretty twisted up. Next one is Ashrock Faceslayer of the Emperor's Children. He is a zealot. And his uh, demeanor is on the brink, laden down with dark boons. This warrior is a mere step away from an ascension to demonhood, or else a debased plunge into spondom. And the other two members are just normal Chaos Space Marines. The first one is Arakar of the Iron Warriors, and the other one is Axeman of the Alpha Legion. And then finally, the last last our team is the Shifting Mini, which is basically just three Chaos Cultists armed with auto guns as well as auto pistols and brutal cult assault weapons. And that, ladies and gentlemen, pretty much does it for the Aphotic Blade of the Black Legion. So that's good for this one. So up next, we're going to talk about the Ultramarines of the Adamatist Crusade. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so that brings us to the Indomitus Crusade. This is a unit of Primaris, uh, all the Primaris Ultramarines. Intercessor Squad, pretty much what it is for their kill team. So up first, we have their uh, background. Their mission is to eliminate target, whether it be a heretical machine, a tainted Xenos artifact, or a compromised Imperial asset. This kill team must destroy it and keep it from enemy hands. These guys are also oath sworn for their background, which means that bound by mighty oaths, these battle brothers seek to truly fulfill their momentous task. And then finally, their squad, squad quirk is dynamic, which means always on the move, these battle brothers fight on the foot, and they're on the front foot and always moving around. So up first is the leader. This guy is Sergeant Cassius the Noble. His demeanor is noble, which means that this warrior will take any risk and pay any price to preserve the lives of his battle brothers. Up next is Marius the Somber, Intercessor Heavy Gunner. His demeanor is somber, which means that the ever grim this warrior chants morbid litanies as he fights. Up next after that, I believe this guy's name is Gaius the Aggressive. He is their inner combat specialist. His demeanor is aggressive, always on the attack. The Space Marine presses ever forward. And then finally we have Kato the Mysterious, which is an internet sensor sniper. Uh, his demeanor is mysterious. This battle brother writer speaks and pronouncements are laced with prophecy as well as dark insinuation. 
And then finally we have a fire team here, just three regular intercessors armed with bolt rifles. And that's pretty much going to do for this one, you guys. As always, please feel free to like, comment, and or subscribe. Also check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Google+, as well as blogger.com for all the latest, greatest news about our hobby. That's going to do for this one, you guys. You guys stay classy. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.